In a recent video, we looked at the illegal use of 143 MHz within the aeronautical sports community, which is also sometimes unofficially and incorrectly branded as VHF-CB. So I decided to look at some of the other citizens band and leisure radio allocations other than 27 MHz and 446 MHz that exist across Europe. Freenet is a personal mobile radio service based only in Germany. Originally introduced in 1996, Freenet was originally a trade name used by Motorola to market license-free handheld radios to business and personal users in Germany. It uses part of the frequency spectrum formerly used by the Bnet's car phone network. This was an analogue commercial mobile radio telephone network that was operated by the Deutsche Bundespost in Germany from 1972 until 1994. The frequency allocation was given by the Bundesnetz Agentur or Federal Network Agency in Germany and the initial allocation for Freenet was only three channels, each with a 12.5 kHz spacing. In January 2007 however, the service was given an additional three extra channels, bringing the total up to six. The rules only permit handheld transceivers which must not exceed an effective radiated power of 0.5 watts. Only specially certified and licensed transceivers are allowed to be used and are not permitted to be modified in any way. The Federal Network Agency has laid out strict parameters for modulation, bandwidth and channel spacing in its regulations. German law also prohibits the use of free net frequencies at elevations of 600 metres or higher, meaning no transmissions from mountaintops and certain areas of high ground, although apparently this is widely ignored. The law also permits handheld transceivers only in simplex mode as repeaters are strictly prohibited. Having said this, in some areas users have built crossband repeaters between Freenet and the 11m 27MHz CB channels and PMR446. There are also some internet VOIP networks that provide remote links similar to repeaters. Unlike PMR446, which is widely used across Europe, high prices for Freenet dedicated devices have led to little attraction from domestic users to the service. For the most part, modified amateur radio transceivers and business radios are used, as well as dedicated mobile radios, which of course violate the restrictions set out for the Freenet service. With the maximum permitted ERP of 500 milliwatts, a typical range of 1 km can be assumed, however, this will vary depending on terrain, conditions and obstructions. Due to the lower frequencies in the VHF band, signal attenuation from objects such as buildings and trees is not as high as in the UHF band. It would appear that around the time the PMR446 allocation was expanded to encompass an additional 8 digital channels, digital channels were added to the Freenet allocation. Channels 1 to 6 remain for FM voice or digital voice and data use, and the additional channels 7 to 18 are for digital voice or data only. Similarly to PMR446, the channels are sandwiched tightly between commercial and business users who do in fact pay a license fee. Originally, the Freenet frequencies were allocated only until the end of 2005. However, the Federal Network Agency has extended this allocation until at least the 31st of January 2025. Freenet is a national radio allocation that is used in Germany only. Foreign regulatory bodies don't permit the use of Freenet devices since the frequencies are already allocated to different radio services. Instead, PMR446 has been harmonised on a European level. Due to possible interference with Swiss military networks, the use of Freenet frequencies is prohibited in the Black Forest and on the Swabian Alb at elevations of 600 metres or above. More importantly, the frequencies for Freenet are reserved in the UK by the Ministry of Defence Intelligence, MOD Boscombe Down, MI6 and Kinetic to name just a few government related users. This means that it's really important these frequencies are not used in the UK. So that is Freenet. In upcoming videos we'll be exploring some of the other radio services in place around Europe and the rest of the world. So if you want to see more then make sure you stay tuned. If you have any comments, suggestions or questions drop them in the box below and I'll get back to you. And all that's left to say is 7-3, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.